Hello everybody and welcome back to All That Jess. I am really, really excited to share this week's video with you guys because this week we are celebrating the 100 year anniversary of the 1916 Rising. The Rising was a battle that broke out between the Irish and the British um, 100 years ago. For those of you that don't know, Britain used to have full control over Ireland. That was until the people of Ireland decided that it was time to fight and to win their country back. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about the Easter Rising 1916. The first shots rang out on Easter Monday. This began a week of bloodshed and chaos on the streets of Dublin. 488 people lost their lives during that week. Soldiers, volunteers, civilians, men, women, and a total of 40 children were shot during the Rising. A group of 1,200 people took to the streets of Dublin to defend the country in a battle that changed the course of Irish history. The Rising was planned in secret by seven men. Tom Clark, Sean McDermott, Patrick Pearce, Thomas McDonough, Joseph Plunkett, James Connolly and Eamon Cabot. Although the leaders of the 1916 Rising were men, women played a huge role in fighting for Irish independence. Countess Markovitz, Elizabeth O'Farrell and Rose McNamara are just three of the many women who had a vision for a better Ireland and stopped at nothing to free the country. The people of Ireland wanted an Irish Republic so these 1,200 people occupied positions all over Dublin. The GPO, the Four Courts, the South Dublin Union, Boland's Mill, Stephen's Green and lastly, Jacob's Biscuit Factory. When the British heard about the Rising, they deployed 16,000 troops into the city, carrying a huge amount of artillery to suppress the Rising. Unfortunately, the rebels' headquarters in the GPO was bombarded and Patrick Pearce ordered the surrender on Saturday the 29th of April 1916. After their surrender, 16 of the rebellion leaders were executed. Although the Rising played a huge role in the road to independence, it took many more years for Ireland to fully gain independence. There is so much more that I could tell you guys about the 1916 Rising and the road to Irish independence, 
but I could literally make 100 videos on that subject. <laughs> If you're interested in finding out more about the Easter Rising, I would really recommend researching it online. It was such a vital part of Irish history. If you missed out on the celebrations last weekend, do not fear. 2016 is an entire year of commemorations for the 1916 Rising, so there's going to be loads of stuff going on for the whole year. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will see you again very, very, soon. <laughs> Thank you, chat.